Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I decided to do a video on how I style my hair most days. So if I'm going out, if I'm seeing anyone, if I'm just want to do my hair for whatever reason. This is generally how I wear my hair 99% of the time. All throughout my Instagram this is how I've done my hair. And I kind of just thought it would be a good video because I have some tips and tricks as well on how I curl my hair, how I get it sitting, how I make it look a little bit sleeker. And I thought it would just be good to just kind of video it if anyone wanted to see it. I actually didn't upload a video last week. I really wasn't sure what to upload. And then like this kind of idea came to me and I thought, yeah, that's a good idea. A lot of my channel is kind of hair related at this point and I do get a lot of questions on different things about my hair so this is generally what my hair looks like this is how I style it so I thought it'd be good to kind of show you this as well please subscribe if you haven't already and like the video if you enjoy it and I'll just get straight into it okay so I'm gonna start by straightening down any of my like roots anywhere that's gone a bit kinky so I had my hair in a French braid last night, so it's a little bit kind of kinky in some places and not in others. Um, I've got a mirror behind the camera, so if I'm not looking down, it's because I'm looking because I don't want to burn myself. Um, I'm going to start with the very bottom section of my hair, um, just with the straightness. But I'm going to put heat protection all throughout so that when I go to curl it, I know that I've already protected it. Um, I do it in these three sections because for me, it's easiest with the braidless weave. I've got three wefts of hair in my head or in, yeah, on my head, in my head. Um, so I find it makes it easier to section it just where the weave is sectioned. Using the VO5 heat protection. Um, I think the last video I did, I mentioned all of the products that I've been using on my hair recently, things that I've been liking. I did a um, top wash yesterday where I just washed the top bit of my hair and not the extensions, um, just to freshen my hair up before I washed the whole thing in a few days. So the top of my hair is looking very different from the bottom of my hair. So I'm gonna take my GHG Platinum Pluses these aren't my favourite straighteners that I've ever tried, but they're fine. And I'm just kind of focusing this on the very like top of my hair, anywhere that I feel like it's frizzing out, all of these little pieces underneath. You just kind of want to avoid like the very bottoms of your hair because that's where you're going to curl it. I just find that if you touch like this bit with the straighteners, just the curl doesn't last as long. And this is this like step of straightening it is only just to try and make it look sleeker when it's all done. So you can see the bottom of it is still curly and then the top of it is nice and sleek. You could do hairspray if your hair tends to like frizz up a little bit or even use a little bit of serum now. But I literally just focus it on the very, very top of my it's more my own hair than the extensions I find my hair like frizzes up at the root whereas the extensions don't really the only reason why the extensions are a little bit frizzy at the moment is because I've just brushed out the French braid that I had in so I've been living in French braids at the moment because of lockdown like I'm not going anywhere there's no point doing my hair but it definitely makes you feel better doing your hair I think and this hairstyle will last me like a few days. And this bit doesn't even need to be that precise because you are gonna go over and curl it, but I just, I don't know. I like my hair to look very sleek even when it's curled. So I'm gonna do the next section. So again, just pull up. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to fast forward through the next few bits of the straightening because it, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't really do anything special with it, but I just remember every time that I section, 
to then respray with heat protection. So yeah, you can kind of see here more than you could have seen on the bottom. That, that, that's my own hair and that's really, really curly. So yeah, I'm just gonna spray with heat protection again. Yeah, you can kind of see it where it like kinks out a little bit. And that's what annoys me when I curl it, is I'll just have these like random kinks at the top of my hair, which just really annoy me. It's something that is just so ridiculous. And I feel like for some people, like it'd be a waste of time. If you have very like naturally straight hair, I can't imagine this would bother me that much, but my hair isn't very naturally straight, so. Okay, just take down this section and do the same thing. I'm actually kind of lied. I normally, sometimes if I'm in a rush, then I won't do this, but I'm not in a rush today. I'm not doing anything. So this is my weave here. I'm actually gonna pull, this is all my own hair at the top here. So I'm gonna pull this up and just straighten over the weave. I'm actually due a maintenance, if you couldn't tell by how low this is at the moment, but we're in lockdown, so I can't get a maintenance. So probably in a few weeks I'll have to take it out and then I'll just have to wait to put it back in. Kind of difference looks so mad when you look at it like this, but when I take the top down, it will all make sense again. So again, just doing the exact same thing. And like I said, like the weave doesn't generally need as much straightening as my own hair, but right at the top here is if I pull it up or if I put it in a ponytail or whatever, sometimes the very top here will get a little bit kinky. And these like side pieces here, they'll get a little bit kinky. So I do like to go over the very, very top. Um, how I actually normally do it as well is I will literally just straighten it like this do one section and then curl the bottoms, but that might be a bit too confusing. I just want to take it like step by step. If I'm being like really precise with it, I'll do it like this where I'll straighten it all first and then go for it with the curlers. But if I'm in like in a rush, I'll just do sections straight and then curl, take the next section down, then straight and then curl. But it definitely is a bit more precise. Like I find that it just looks a bit better. Taking a bit more time. And this is my top section here. So this is the bit where you'll see like my own hair is so kinky. Obviously this has had the French braid on it, but my own hair would just dry like this naturally anyway. Just, it goes so kinky. So this is where I need the most straightening, which is why it's nice to have sectioned this section off and then do the section underneath because then you've got a little bit more you don't have to worry about getting to the weave underneath because this hair is really really thick i don't know this is just this is when my hair is like this curly i have to do it like this so i literally just go straight for the fringe curl it down just curl it down straighten it down and then go through my hair like this yeah this bit just gets so kinky and i straightened this the whole way down because you want this to kind of match the length of the hair. And if you stop curling your hair at, say, like there, this bit's already going to be curly because you haven't straightened it properly. And this is where I find it is important to actually straighten it. So maybe you just want to do the top section if the rest of your hair is pretty straight. Don't worry about how straight that fringe is. I will curl that in. And then yeah, sometimes with the extensions, I'll take it down to the extension as well, just so that this completely is like seamless. So that's one side. And then do the exact same thing on the side. I try to avoid doing more than like one pass through the hair if I can with the straightener. Um, sometimes it's just completely unavoidable, but if I can, I will try. I don't know if you've been seeing, but I've literally, I'm gonna have to go over this section of hair just to show you, but I literally go like this on the very root, go through the root twice, because that's, like I said, where I find gets the most kind of frizzy. It doesn't need to be overly perfect, because you are obviously still gonna have some bits curled, so it's never gonna look 100% straight, even if you do 100% straight in it. And then 
I'm just going to put a little bit more heat protection on my ends and I'm actually going to sit back just so you can see my hair. So I'm going to put a little bit more heat protection just on the very ends because this is where it's going to get the most heat. And I'm going to leave it a few seconds just to dry. If you try and go in now, it will just fry your hair. Okay, so I'm just giving that a few seconds. And now we're going to go in with the curler. The wand I use is the Mark Hill medium sized barrel. And you can swap these out. Obviously, these are the pick and mix ones. So I actually start at the back so that then I don't really have to touch it until I get to the front again. So I'm going to take this piece here. You can see this is completely straight. And then I'm going to take it into the middle of the hair, wrap it round, hold it for about 10 seconds and then just drop it into my hand here. So my hand is kind of through the middle of the curl. Kind of hold it for a second in this little like round shape and then let it go. And you've got a little curl at the bottom there. Um, you can obviously do this like higher up the hair if you want it to look a bit more curly. Um, also, if you want it to last longer, obviously the lower it is, the quicker it's going to fall out. But generally, I, f I think it's fine as long as I hairspray it. And uh, do the t same thing, the 10 seconds and then drop. Um, I would recommend definitely holding it. If you don't want to hold it, a clip is really good. Just pin it for about until it's cold, really, or until it's cooler. I feel like my fingers are like fireproof, heat proof at this point because... I do this all the time that like my fingers just don't really get like burnt and then when you can feel that it's like cooled down it'll probably take a few seconds just let it go and then I always just put it behind me so I don't touch it again do the same thing I kind of normally work out that it's like three rolls around the barrel um which helps me make it all quite even. When I get to the front, I start to do a little bit more, but I'll show you that when it comes to it. In this barrel, I let it heat up properly. Like it says it takes maybe like 30 seconds to heat up, but I let it heat up for a little bit more than that, just because I find sometimes it's not hot enough. Like it's fine, but it's not hot enough to like last. So when I put the straighteners on, I put them on at the same time. By the time that I finish doing like straightening the hair, which takes, you know 10 minutes whatever it's normally hot enough then and sometimes i put them on when i'm doing my makeup if i'm going out same thing 10 seconds i'm gonna skip forward now until i'm starting to put more hair in like curling more hair so that i can show you how i do that and you can take like chunkier sections if you want to as well like if you don't want the curls to be as tight at the bottom, you can take chunky sections. Again, it kind of affects how long the hair will like last curled. Um, if you use hairspray, you're normally fine. So it's up to you. Um, I try and keep them around this size, this size section. I just find that I have like a little bit more control with them. I always angle the wand down as well because I just find that that's a lot easier so that when it kind of slips off you're not having to like try and like wind it off the barrel I just find that this is a lot easier okay so when I get to about here which is kind of forward of my ear so my ear is here so yeah forward of my ear this is when I start to kind of take a little bit more hair so this is this is a bit more hair than the curls that I've done and I also take it up a little bit higher. So now this is about four wraps around. Obviously everyone's hair length is going to be different. So it kind of depends how much hair length you've got. Like if you if your hair's shorter than mine, you might want to just do two wraps around. And then when you get to here, maybe do a third wrap around. But this is, this is when I start to do about four. And then at the fringe, I normally just curl my whole fringe. If you don't grab the curl in time, you can normally just try and like, if I drop it like that, you can normally just like put your finger through the middle and just regather it. It's easier if you do it in a mirror and then you'll have your curl. And then if I let this go now, so you can see now that's a lot higher than say that bit that's still straight. Once you brush it out, it will, it will look normal. No, right now it looks a bit odd. 
So I'm gonna take about this much and then this bit I'm gonna curl all together so that my fringe curls into the long bits of hair because my fringe is quite a bit shorter. And again, I'm just gonna do about four wraps around and that's a thinner bit of hair so I'm not gonna leave it for as long. Okay, so for my fringe, I just take it here so it sits kind of flush with my head and then take it off. And then I actually don't hold it when it's my fringe because I don't want my fringe to be super, super tight. And that's how it looks. And then I leave it. I don't touch it until it's properly, properly cool. And I'll show you at the end how I brush it out. I'm going to do the exact same on the other side. So I'm not even going to bother showing you. Um, or at least I'll, I'll have it recorded, but I'm not going to... Um, speaking it because it's literally the same as what I've done on this side um so yeah So I've just gone through and done the other side. This side is all cool now. Just take my Tangle Tamer, go through it. A little bit of like finger combing. Generally I'll finger comb my fringe as well because if I brush through it, it just seems to fall out. And then yeah, that's how it sits. And I kind of always push my fringe back um, so that when it drops it kind of drops like this rather than rather than not dropping like that I don't know what the other option is <laughs> and then yeah that's how I do my everyday hair um if you need any more advice or if you have any other questions or literally anything like I said I did my last video was on all the products that I use for my hair which I got asked quite a lot on any of the hair videos I've done I get asked most of the time what I use on my hair so that is I'll link it in the cards so that you'll be able to see that um if you've got any other video ideas anything that you'd like to see please let me know and I can film it uh please like subscribe comment turn the notification bell on and hopefully I'll see you next week bye to talk to, to talk to. I like to drive by myself